In today's video, I'll answer your question, what is the purpose of the Mosaic Law? Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around to the end. The Mosaic Law was given specifically to the nation of Israel. It was made up of three parts the Ten Commandments, the ordinances, and the worship system, which included the priesthood, the tabernacle, the offerings, and the festivals. The purpose of the Mosaic Law was to accomplish the following. First, to reveal the holy character of the eternal God to the nation of Israel. Second, to set apart the nation of Israel as distinct from all the other nations. Third, to reveal the sinfulness of man. Although the law was good and holy, it did not provide salvation for the nation of Israel. No one will be declared righteous in God's sight by the works of the law. Rather, through the law, we become conscious of our sin. Romans chapter 3, verse 20. Fourth, to provide forgiveness through the sacrifice or offerings for the people who had faith in the Lord in the nation of Israel. Fifth, to provide a way of worship for the community of faith through the yearly feast. Six, to provide God's direction for the physical and spiritual health of the nation. And seven, to reveal to humanity that no one can keep the law, but everyone falls short of God's standard of holiness. That realization causes us to rely on God's mercy and grace. When Christ came, he fulfilled the law, and with his death, paid the penalty for our breaking it. By faith in him, the believer has the very righteousness of Christ imputed to him. The purpose of the Mosaic Law raises these questions. Are you trusting in yourself to keep all the Ten Commandments all the time, which you can't do? Or have you made the choice to accept Jesus as your Savior, realizing that he has fulfilled all the commandments all the time for you, even paying your penalty for breaking them? The choice is yours. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.